Guys, so as you already know, remakes are a very touchy subject for me for obvious reasons, right? When you're talking about re-releasing a game, a remake always will effectively remove certain nuances from a game that you like, right? Because they're not going to be able to translate everything perfectly from an original game and an original engine that came out years ago, sometimes even decades ago, into the new game. Nuances will be lost, right? And it seems to be the general consensus when it comes to remakes. Even with something as simple as a remake, Remaster, which if you don't know the difference between remake and a remaster, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to explain it again. You have to research, okay? There's actually new remake leaks we need to talk about today, but I just need to get this off my chest because they're remaking the GOAT and I just need to explain this shit because this shit's pissing me off. But even with remasters, people can go too far and change too much to where it feels not faithful enough to the original. To the point where there's even a chart going viral right now talking about the difference between an enhanced port, a remaster, a faithful remake, and effectively a re imagining right but there are still debates even on those categories like which game should go in which category like a lot of people may say that po6 is a faithful remake but i consider it to be more of a reimagining although it's more so teetering on the reimagining line it's not completely a reimagining but it's definitely not completely a faithful remake either and something like sonic colors ultimate which is clearly a remaster is still not even faithful to the original aesthetics that it came from right Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, right, we've got this Sonic Heroes remake thing going on, and given that it's my favorite game of all time, it probably means I don't want them to change too much shit, right? Because the only time I've ever preferred a remake to an original game is usually when I was not that attached to the original game. Like, with Crash Insane Trilogy, I prefer that to the PlayStation games, because I didn't grow up on those. I grew up on Twin Sanity and Nitro Kart, right? So playing Insane Trilogy was like, this is how it feels. This, is, this feels right. I mean, I did actually go back and beat Crash 1 and 2 original before insane trilogy came out and i even beat crash 3 original after insane trilogy came out so i did experience them but i wasn't attached to them the same way because i played them as an adult and i didn't like grind them for so many hours that I was like this is how it should feel the physics must be this way but i could i could tell the differences between the original and insane trilogy it's not like i didn't notice right and i remember when crash team racing nitro fuel came out as well there were some people that grew up on the original who were just like it just doesn't feel right it's missing this and that shortcut doesn't work the same way and, and i was just sitting and they're like i didn't grow up on crash team racing right again i played nitro cult so i was sitting there like okay i guess there are some differences but i don't care i prefer the new one right like when you're a casual that's how you be feeling but when it comes to the goat sonic heroes right like I, there's certain nuances in the game that is very hard for me to explain to people who don't play the game it's very hard to explain in general it's hard to put into words like people be asking me to make a video on why i love sonic heroes and i swear there's certain things i just don't know how to explain with words it just feels right it feels right i know people hate the physics i don't hate the physics there's things i will change about the physics but not as much as other people would change. i feel like other people would just be like scrap the entire air of physics and just start from scratch i'm just like there's like 10 percent of the physics i will change and that's about it that's about it for real anyway why am i talking about remakes and the concept of changing too much shit it's because midori is back the goated leaker is back and she has some shit that she wants to say about the goat remake okay so we're gonna get to all this right now but subscribe to the channel already please make sure to subscribe okay so if you don't already know midori left twitter because of sonic twitter drama she claimed it was gonna be a heroes remake and then she backtracked and said it's being considered but it's not confirmed and then all some zippo beef and zippo made a response post so midori just left but she is back because you know everyone comes back to the sonic eventually right let's be real she made a tweet here saying i've had some time away and i wish to put this zippo stuff behind me so i'm guessing the quitting is over and we're back to the leaks right we can't stop the leak train because of zippo right like come on right? so she starts off with the heroes bombshells and man there there's some bombshells shows man there, there's some good and there's some bad okay as we expected there's some good there's some bad and there's some ugly okay it says sega aims to introduce younger fans to the sonic heroes remake with some new character additions silver and blaze from the sonic next generation obviously sonic 06 as well as infinite from sonic forces are being heavily considered as a new bonus team so i mean Maybe I should talk about this before I move on to the next tweet because this is actually an idea I like. I mean, I thought Infinite was a decent character and obviously I love Silver and Blaze, right? I love Sonic Rush. I love 06. I even made a Sonic Heroes 2 video years ago and I said that Silver, Blaze and Amy would be a great team after, you know, playing 06 and they had their little dynamic in that game. But obviously Amy's in Team Rose so it wouldn't work for a Heroes remake, I guess. So Silver, Blaze and Infinite 
My assumption would be that like infinite would be the speed character. I'd, like Blake, no, Blake could be speed because of 06, but she could also be power because she kind of powerful as well. You know, like she's speed. Like, in Rush, she was kind of speed. In 06, she was kind of speed, but she got like the flames and I, I don't know. Silver has to be flight, right? He's got the levitation. Like Silver's clearly a fight character. Thunder shoot works similar to like his psychokinesis and throwing and objects. So Silver is clearly flight. So it's either between Blaze and Infinite being like speed or power. But let me know you guys would prefer who should be speed or who should be. But I think maybe Blaze should be power. You know, give us some female power type shit. There's no female power character in Heroes, right? So Blaze being a power character could be kind of flames. I'm just saying. But when Midori says like bonus team, does that mean like no new level design? They're just gonna like copy and paste it onto like another team or something like that. I don't know. I don't really think they're gonna add another the whole set of level design for another team i mean they're all variations in the main game anyway so i'm guessing they just take like team sonic or maybe team rose or something like that and call it a day but nonetheless here's where shit gets to get very fucking annoying okay <laughs> this is where i really get uh she says, Izuku wishes to include classic Sonic in some form as well. As if he hasn't been included in a million fucking things that he didn't deserve to be included in. But the favorite child syndrome keeps going on. It said, there will be team skins available as paid DLC. Team Classic Sonic will be the first. And Team Metal Sonic is also being considered. I don't know what they mean by skins. Wait, we've got another tweet, but let me just talk about this. I don't know what they mean by skins. Like, I guess like a model swap, like no new level design. So I'm guessing like the silver blaze and infinite ones like his own separate thing on like the menu like you go to like the story mode is there I, I don't know whereas this is more like a you can play the same team but with something else so like team classic sonic would just be like on top of team sonic and you just have like a drop down to switch between like the skins you prefer to use so effectively you just be playing as team sonic but with some model swaps so you're using the classic variations of the character i don't know if it's going to change the abilities i'm sure sega's too lazy to actually do that it'll probably just be like model swaps right classic sonic classic tails classic knuckles something like that not something i would want to use but i guess it's a bonus so i don't really care too much but it's still tainting the goat Right, I don't need that in my shit, okay? As for Team Metal Sonic, I'm guessing like metal versions of the characters, I mean, would it be different from what was in the two player? Like the cheat that you could use in two player? Those of you who know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm guessing it could just be that if they're being lazy, just slap that into the single player. Or they could actually put real Metal Sonic in there, but then you have to make Metal Tails and Metal Knuckles, which is a whole additional thing. I don't know if Sega will go that far. I mean, if you're gonna metalify the whole Team Sonic, you might as well just metalify the whole cast, right? I mean, I guess they kind of did that with the two player thing, but I, I don't know okay we'll see what they do with that but it's just the skin i like the idea of adding skins and maybe if there's some more skins it might be worth it but the fact that they're charging this is paid dlc you already know they're gonna charge 60 to 70 dollars for this shit so the dlc is an additional 10 plus right i just don't see why they want to milk more money out of this thing when they could just bundle this into the game then again having class of sonic as a separate thing i could choose not to buy it then it doesn't taint the game so you know you win some you lose some right but here is where shit really hits the fan okay this is the final tweet it says here there are also plans to streamline the experience for new players oh here we go here we go azuka Plans such as removing lives and using Team Rose level design for all teams are being considered such that each team is accessible to all. No one gives a fuck about this shit, okay? If you're not good enough to be any other team except for Team Rose, don't play the game. I'm sorry. I mean, I know I'm not the company, so I don't care about the business side of things, but like, I'm sorry, but like, what the fuck? This is ridiculous, okay? You can't take out Team Sonic layouts, Team Dark layouts, Chaotix, like, oh, how's Chaotix gonna work? Like, what are they gonna do with Chaotix? They're just gonna make it A to B like the other teams and remove what made Chaotix unique and goated? I, I don't see how this would work. This is what I was talking about in the beginning of the video about like remakes effectively turning into remixes instead of just do the game again, but look pretty, you know, or look prettier, you know? It feels like they just wanna come in and like niceify it for a more casual audience and just take the piss out of those who actually supported the greatest game ever created for over 20 years even though i first played it in 2005 so i haven't done it for 20 years yet but i'm working on it okay just give me one more year i just feel like if you want to have like an easy mode like team rose is already there if you want to have a life removal it should be a bonus thing but just like colors ultimate sega likes to approach these things with a one size fits all mentality just like add in tail saves for everyone remove lice for everyone you don't want that tough you gotta play it the easy way because that's the way we've deemed for everyone where Sonic Heroes was the epitome of choose your path. 
You want it the easy way, you play Team Rose. You want it the normal way, you play Team Sonic. You want it the hard way, you play Team Duck. You want the missions, you play Chaotix. You love all of it, you beat the whole thing, you really that certified, you A-rank the shit, get super hard mode, right? You get everything, that's why it's the greatest game ever created. But instead, they want to ruin that with some forces streamline bullshit, and I'm just not here for this, right? This is why I need the decompilation. This is why I need the ports, the original PC port, to be decompiled so that we can take it, update it, and mod it better than the way people are modding it now. The mod loader is not that great right now, but there's a lot of issues with the PC port, it's old, okay? But a decompilation that unlocks the frame rate, adds new abilities, but without taking away the essence of what makes this game so great is what we need. They're already talking about making significant changes. The only people that didn't love the original will be sitting there going, yeah, we want all of these, okay? If it wasn't one size fits all, then it'll be a different story. But this is the... <laughs> This is the shit I'm talking about, okay? And I hope this isn't true, but I mean, it's Midori, so I'm really worried. Although Midori did backtrack before, so we'll see. Maybe Zippo will come and say something else and contradict this. Zippo tends to say the things that we want, even though he's not always right. He tends to say the things that we want to happen, <laughs> which is why he's not always right, because if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, all right? Like when he said it was gonna be a modern 2D game, I was like, this sounds too good to be true. And then it was Superstars, and it was just like, yeah, it was too good to be true. Superstars is some classic bullshit. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all of this. Clearly, Zuko is in the is in the in the, in the firing range talking about removing or changing things that don't need to be changed. I'm sure some people who didn't really like the original game that much are gonna rejoice at this, and those who love the original game are probably going, what the fuck? Would you pay extra money for this skins, this DLC, this bonus content? Do you want to try this Silver Blaze and Infinite, like, bonus team or whatever? And of course, a big shout out to all my channel members. If you want to become a channel member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button. But yeah, man, that's all I have to say right now. So, Remy out. No more playing around.